everybody. Sorry for the wait. Um, we had a little bit of some technical difficulties, but now it should all be good. So we're about to get started and we're really excited. This is our first online graduation and in person like this that we've done. So um, we're super excited that you guys are able to join us live. everyone here and have our first online graduation. This is the first time we're doing this where we are live streaming it to all of the uh, people watching online and we just want, our heart really tonight is to just celebrate um, our graduates, our recent graduates uh, from the uh, online mastery program. Uh, we are here uh, in Winder, Georgia and we have um, kind of uh, rented out this fabulous uh, venue space um, that's really beautiful. Um, I'm sure the cameras will show, uh, you know, kind of the people and everything as it's going around and, and you know, what, what's happening. And, um, so we're here. Say hello, everybody. Say hello to the online people watching. <laughs> and, um, and so uh, we're really excited and you know, basically we're having a, a sweet little party here for our graduates and celebrating their success, celebrating their achievements. Um, we, uh, got to we get to have five people here, um, maybe it's six, five or six people here that are here physically that we're gonna hear uh, their words. They're gonna be able to come up and talk and share. Um, we have some of their work here uh, behind us that we're gonna show. Uh, when they come up to talk and really excited about that and um, you know it's really uh, just really warms my heart because we started uh, we started the school Milan Art Institute in 2010 and it started with just um, really teaching um, a bunch of ladies out from Sun City who who wanted to loosen up from their watercolors and learn some mixed media techniques for me. And it grew, and my passion grew, my passion grew for artists to really turn their passion for art into a profession and to be able to spend every day of their lives, if they choose to, to paint and earn a living doing that and to sell their paintings professionally and consistently where they can have a full-time business. And, and really, uh, Dimitra here, my daughter, she, she became a, a really successful artist really early on in her life. By age 15, she was selling her artwork all over the world. And she taught me a ton about uh, modern branding and, and marketing techniques. Um, and, you know, together we, we sort of teach uh, the mastery program kind of, uh, you know, multi-generational. Uh, you know, I've been selling my art for over um, 25 years and I did it the old school way. Uh, you know, contacting galleries and even before we had the internet, you know, and it was, uh, it was really different back then and Dimitra uh, does it you know, the new, the new way, and she has a real vision and pioneering spirit to uh, really see what's coming uh, forward, and I feel like I really caught that from her. And so together we dream, and we dream for artists. We dream of, uh, you know, platforms and opportunities uh, like we've never experienced before. I mean, imagine if uh, Van Gogh had access to social media. Imagine if Salvador Dali had a YouTube channel. I mean, what would the world be like today? And that's the opportunity we have in our hands. And that is really the backbone of what our school is about. And we do teach classical skill. We do teach, um, you know, traditional uh, drawing skills and foundational things. And we also teach contemporary mixed media. And we teach you how to find your voice and to really know your style and develop your style as an artist. And uh, and then how to build a personal brand and market your artwork and, and then go out and promote it and sell it. And so uh, these artists um, have gone through this program and uh, have completed everything and built their websites and implemented uh, some of those marketing techniques and they're just beginning, they're just starting their career and it's so exciting mm -hmm. and we're so proud. And 
honestly, I'm so excited for them because there's really no better time to be alive than right now as an artist. There's so much in front of us that is, is just incredible. The opportunities are absolutely incredible. <laughs> what do you want to say? Well, I also want to say that of all you guys who are taking the mastery program and who have graduated, just I want to say congratulations. And I want to say that you guys have inspired us. And just, you know, as teaching you, like, it's super inspiring. Um, we learn so much from you guys. You might not even realize that. But every time you post your paintings and your progress and share your heart, it's very inspiring. Yeah. And so just congratulations on just being vulnerable and sharing your art with the world because it's so important. Art really does uh, hold the power to change the world. Yeah. It's true. And, um, you know, we just, we just, for all you guys that are graduating, and, and I know there's a lot more of you that have graduated, you've gone through the content, you know, you might be just in the process of making your website, or you just finished making your website, and all the pieces didn't come together to be a part of this celebration. And so we'll celebrate you next, you know, next time, at the next celebration, at the next graduation. Um, but for those of you that, that are, um, you know, sort of stepping out now into that place where you're going to sell your art and you're going to um, really put yourself out there and promote yourself, um, you know, it's, it's every, uh, so many people are buying art now. Mm -hmm. uh, patronage, yeah. art patronage is the highest I've ever seen it in my entire career. Yeah. And people have really connected purpose with, patro with patronage of art. Uh, when somebody buys art today, they feel like they're a part of something bigger than themselves. It's not just, oh, you know, let's decorate our, our living room and match the couch. They, it's so much more than that, so much more meaningful than that. And people buying art today really buy it for, for very virtuous reasons and for reasons because they're, they're moved by your art. You know, your heart moved to their heart, and so they're gonna they're gonna yeah. buy your art. That I didn't mean to rhyme, but <laughs> um, so uh, so anyway, um, just just really remember that that there's lots of people out there that want your art, and um, and that that you really have something. You have something to offer. You never have to um, take that place as somebody that needs to, you know, uh, hope, beg, or grovel for somebody to buy your art, you know, and get out of that mindset of, of any kind of starving artist or an artist that, that doesn't have opportunities or, oh, I painted all this art and it's stacking up. You have to move into that mindset that, that your art does change the world and it's, it's a powerful, powerful thing. And you have the honor to really step into that place where you are shifting culture. Every, every brush stroke, every time you finish a painting, every time you post it online and you, you update your website and you move your business forward, you really are changing the world. You're influencing, your words influence, your videos, they influence, your content influences. The fact that you are bold enough to follow your dream and, and to not just do something, uh, you know, because it, you know, it was easy or it made you money or it was just a career to have, but you followed your passion and you followed your dream and you, want, you defied what culture told you that you can't make it as an artist and you stepped into it, that will change the world because you'll inspire people with your courage. You'll inspire people with your passion. And I would say that's what I'm most proud of. Sure, there's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of times you guys know, you probably cried over your paintings, you got frustrated. It was, it was, you know, I don't know if I have a voice. Everybody found their voice but me. I don't know if I'm an S and I, I don't know what I am, right? All that stuff. You know, you probably got frustrated at times and you had to push through. And I'm proud of you for that. And you had to push through and, and you know, um, make yourself really look at your source or, or all those things, do all those things the program taught you. But I'm most proud that you followed your dream. That's what I'm most proud. I'm most proud that you were courageous and you, and you, you had guts to step into your dream. And you know, even right now we have a, a where there, there's people signing up you know, every day, every day people sign up. There's people in this room uh, right here watching this graduation like you, Anna, who, who signed up for this course to register. And, and you're just beginning your journey 
you know, while, while somebody else is, is you know, we're, we're celebrating that they, they completed this part of the journey. But I commend you that you have the guts also to step into mm -hmm. your into your dream. Yeah. And that that's what really inspires me. And that there's people all over the world, all over the world. It's not just here, all over the world that that are saying yes to their dreams and their passions and, and are taking this program and and completing it and, and pushing through even though it gets difficult. So I'm proud of you guys, and we want to celebrate you tonight. And um, I, I was telling the, you know, we were doing a conference right now, and I was sharing in the conference that, uh, talking about the graduation tonight, and I said, you know, the first one is always the sweetest. You know, uh, I remember my first year I taught the mastery program, and I have Roxanne here from that. I think she's the only one uh, <laughs> from that first class. So, Roxanne, just stand up, stand up. Roxanne, you're practically an icon. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she she said yes to her dreams uh, back when I definitely did not know what I was doing at all. And you know, I made so many mistakes. They were my guinea pigs. And uh, I told I told um, uh, Roxanne earlier that I think her spirit animal is guinea pig, but. <laughs> Anyway, that's not nice. Okay, so, um, what was I saying? Uh, anyway, so, so, you know, she said yes to her dreams and, and you know, even, it took a risk, even though, you know, I, I really didn't know what I was doing. And her graduation was the very first graduation we ever, ever did. And um, it took place in our studio. And I made them put up their first painting they ever did in the program. And then they put up um, the last painting they did in the program so people could see the progress. That's cool. And, um, and then she told me today I was mean back then. And I made them talk about their artwork for 10 minutes. And I told them, you know, you got to learn how to talk about your artwork. And so I made them each talk about their artwork for 10 minutes. So we had a long graduation. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, and, and so here we are today. And this is our first online graduation that we're doing. And uh, so this is, this is the sweet one, you know? So you're here, and you, you drove from Texas. And, and so it's, you got to participate in the first one, the sweet one. You know, and we'll always remember this, this first one. So, um, so I'm excited. I'm excited for all you guys, and I'm excited for you guys online. Um, I hope you have your families watching um, and, and your friends to celebrate with you. And so we're going to get started. Is there anything you wanted to say? Any more? No. I said it all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so Alana, it looks like you're the first one. Do we have the? I didn't believe in myself and um, 
So 12 months ago, almost, I'm graduating a tiny bit early, um, but <laughs> I have worked really hard this past five months. Um, 12 months ago, I was fairly emotionally bankrupt. Um, emotionally bankrupt, spiritually bankrupt. Um, I had really lost my sense of self. And um, when I found the mastery program, um, I took a fairly big leap of faith, and I wasn't expecting what I got out of it. Um, oh. Sorry, you can want to move forward. Oh, I see, okay. So when yeah, when I started, um, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, it, although I, I really wanted to find my own artistic voice. I have a fairly creative background. I've run my own design business. I've been a creative director in a, in a fairly successful high-end company that had a lot of great customers, and and I love the brands that I worked with. Um, but there was something missing from my life, and. Um, and I, yeah, when I started to learn about the mastery program and, and the Milan Art Institute, I just decided I need to give this my all. So I quit my job, um, which was a fairly big shock to the people that I worked with. Um, and I pursued this wholeheartedly for the past 11 and a bit months. Um, it's been uh, incredibly rewarding in terms of um, everything that I've Things I didn't even know about myself. I have been able to become confident in ways that I never had. Um, I've really learned to know who I am through making my art, and um, I guess that's what we see um, like when we create our art. We're really expressing our 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 hearts and our passions on the canvas, um, and that's what we're we're taught to really become our own individual. You know display that on the canvas, the colors, the style, the temperament, the way you put the paint on. And yeah, it was a really amazing journey for me. <laughs> um, so do you want me to talk about this piece? Sure. So this was probably one of my first portfolio pieces and it was like a fairly big breakthrough for me. Um, it really flowed out of me like fairly quickly and I realized that um, I love to feel the emotion when I look at a piece. And so this girl with her head like completely upright um, in surrender and all of the light and color coming in. Um, and this, this girl, this figure rising up from within her is exactly how I felt at the time. Yeah. And it was like, this is me rising up to the person that I can be. And um, this piece was called Rising Woman. And that just was like the whole experience while I was painting it completely like spoke to me while I painted it. Um, and it's sold? Yes, this piece, this piece is sold and, um, <laughs> this, this is another piece you did? Okay, so this is another one, I guess it's fairly similar. It's another woman who's completely surrendered with her head back, um, and this was, this one is, you know, she's identifying her mountain and, um, mountain because she's in surrender and, She's, yeah, she has the, the river flowing through her, and um, yeah, it's been it's a journey, and I guess I'm still learning, still learning like who I who I am, but I'm definitely on that path, and it's through like the act of painting that I've really come to find that healing and that peace in myself, and the strength and confidence, and um, yeah, I'm really grateful. Uh, to Ali and to Dimitra and to John and to everybody who has the coaches that are here. I mean, you guys early on, like you guys, and I'm getting to meet you here and it's just amazing, but the coaches are so supportive and so talented and so gifted in the way they help you and um, it's been amazing. So, um, yeah, I, I can't express my gratitude enough. I'm really, really thankful for your heart and what you do and what you give, it's just, it really does equip people to be their best. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Congratulations.
I had the pleasure of meeting Gina years ago in Greece. She went on a Greek trip, and that's where we first met. And you did uh, our Greek retreat and some of the little art classes on there. And you were already doing art before that. You were already an artist. And, and then I'll let you tell your own story. <laughs> Yes, like uh, Ellie said, I um, I've been painting for a very long time, but I really didn't have any true direction or really um, how to be an artist. I mean, even though you're painting and you're making pictures, it just didn't feel like I was a, a professional, even though I was selling. So uh, with the, my friend Roxanne, um, encouraged me to, uh, take the mastery program and I, I just couldn't quite get there when she first asked me, but then when the online program came, that was perfect for me. I could do it at my leisure because I had to work my shop. Um, you know, it's a 40 hour a week job. So I would get up, I would be so excited. They, you know, we were three hours behind um, Georgia time when they would post the, um, the lesson, and I would be up three hours. I'd be up at like six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, watching everything, trying to you know do the lessons and everything. And I would just after I get would watch it, I would be so inspired, and then I'd go to work and I just paint, 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 <laughs> and I'm still painting a lot. <laughs> so thanks for being a lot. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't signed up. Get signed up. It's an amazing adventure, and uh, you will be back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. Come on down. Here we go. Thank you. Okay. Well, congratulations. We're so proud of you. Thanks. And now. We want to hear your story. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, my story. Well, um, as I was sitting at the table thinking, what am I going to say? I remembered um, when I was young, my first experience with being creative and having it be life changing was my mom sending me outside with glue and paper, and I just ripped up grass and twigs and stuck them all to the paper and. I just, um, I felt like I was like in another world, creating my own world, and that's kind of how I feel now. Like, um, creating art is, is creating, you're creating a world when you create art, and I think, um, yeah, so that's my art story. So first, I wanted to thank my husband, because he's been so supportive, and I don't want to cry. Thank you to my family, I love you very much, and thank you for supporting me. Okay. It's um, okay. Crying's good. <laughs> I cry all the time. Um, so what I really wanted to share is my heart behind art is to help people realize that there's something beyond the, I, I hate to say, small thinking that most of us have. And there's a, there's a big world out there, and there's so many possibilities, and there's so many reasons to have hope and to have faith that amazing things can happen in your life. And so my journey on purpose and to um, just find freedom and set yourself on fire and live in pursuit of like big dreams. And so I think that's kind of this piece here, kind of like the power statement. It's called In the Distance. And um, things might not always look good in the right now, but there's always some hope in the distance. So. It's beautiful. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Kate. Aren't you going to start me off with questions? Okay. You always started everybody but okay. me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey, we want to hear your story. Why don't you tell us about uh, how you first heard about the school and your or, or and how you got your start in art and and uh, tell us maybe about this painting. Okay, can do that. 
Hi everybody, I'm Kate Sullivan. Um, actually today, one year ago today, I actually signed up to the mastery program. Wow. And you graduated wow. in a year. Wow. One year. Very good. It can be done. <laughs> I had tons of obstacles to get by, but every one of them worked out because I loved it. I couldn't wait until Monday morning when I got my email every Monday morning. And the first thing I did was get my copy, turn on, hit my Milan Art Institute email, and drink my coffee and listened to, okay, sorry, I listened to, F, not recommended, <laughs> listened to every single one all morning. <laughs> then throughout the week I could figure out how I could schedule myself, also not recommended by her, but <laughs> I never follow rules. I'm in my 60s, I've never followed rules, Oh, shout out to her. And we just, you know, I just loved it every minute. Every second of it. I'm a lifelong artist. Since the day I was born, um, can't I own an art studio. I to be creative. But I never found my family. And I'm 62 years old. And not once did I ever, and I've taken so many programs. I have lots of graduate certificates, you know, <laughs> and stuff, but I never really found where I belonged. And one year ago today, or one year ago, when we were doing the three-day conference, I was glued. Even turn off the computer at all, and I went, I found my family. So, I can't even tell you, I have five friends that are in the mastery program after I signed up because they saw my progression, my change. I painted all my life and all of a sudden my painting started to change and they started to see it change. So they, um, they were like, I want to be like you too. And I said, well you can. <laughs> so they're part of also there. <laughs> Laura Meyer, she came with me. And I got uh, Laura, I call her Laura Giotti, one piece. I screw up her name all the time even though she's been my friend for like 10 years. But, um, she would be so mad. She's watching live. Hi, Laura. I see. I told them about you. She said, you make sure you tell everybody about me. And that I'm the loser that didn't go tonight. So anyway, all I can say is this has been life changing. It's been the most wonderful thing that's ever happened in my life. I cannot say enough about it. Um, and I also want to say I may be graduating, but it's just beginning. Yeah. Because now I have to take all those lessons that they taught me and make them work. And I have to practice and I have to keep on going. And you know, I have, I have our family lives a long time. We live into our hundreds. Wow. So I have a lot of time left to make that work. But anyway, can't say enough. If you haven't signed up, for any of you that have not signed up, believe me, it's worth every penny and it's I don't even know how you do it for that price, really. To be honest with you, the content that they give you, okay, I will stop. I'm you're not paying me for this. <laughs> anyway, well, I thank you so much. And I'm so honored to have this certificate on my wall. And um, thank you very much. You did awesome. Uh, here you go. Do I say Andrea or Andrea? Andrea, okay. So this is Andrea. We have her beautiful piece here so you guys can see it up close, in person. And Andrea, why don't you tell us just a little bit about your journey, maybe how you got your start in art, if you want to talk about your painting. I have to breathe first. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh it's God. okay. You're going to do great. You're going to do great. Just right. keep the microphone close to your mouth because you hear it. Right. Like you're going to eat it. Yes, right. Mm. All right. Hello, everybody. So, Perfect. Um, my name is Andrea Chidova, and this is my lovely piece, Transformation. So, as you can tell, um, where do I start? Okay, let me start somewhere else. Um, so I have a little accent for everybody to hear, uh, meaning uh, we are, uh, so in 2002, 
um, we moved from Germany to the United States. So I followed my husband's um, calling and uh, we had two little kids. So pretty much most of my time <clears throat> I was there for my family and um, for all their belongings and um, have always been, I have to say, I have always been um, creative and I have always been painting. So my background is in um, interior decoration and fashion styling, which I did uh, for, a lot, for the longest time. Um, but then when we moved over here and we had no family, so nobody from our family is over in the United States, I felt that um, I had to be a stay-at-home mom, which I was now for the longest time. Um, but uh, I tried many things. I had, I don't know where to start. So um, as a typical creative, I think I put my nose into pretty much a lot of things, but never really found the one thing that um, um, was satisfying to me. And so um, a year ago, so I'm of the class 220, um, and so a year ago um, uh, I had a meeting with a friend of mine who mentioned to me the Milan Art Institute. So I'm very grateful for that night <laughs> that I have been with her because she said that she thought that this is what I'm looking for. So I looked into this and I was kind of, hmm, okay. So I looked again into this and then I thought, okay, how do I bring this over to my husband that this is what I'm going to do next year? So I didn't tell him at first. I just signed up and I thought, I'm going to make it. <laughs> um, and I thought, oh, I, whatever the costs are, I, I will manage. So, um, and it came Christmas and I started January 6th and I still hadn't told. <laughs> but then I got a good moment where I thought, you know, I gotta tell you something. This is what I'm going to do for the next year and I hope you'll be with me. And, um, um, and I'm, he, <laughs> he um, uh, supported my idea, he supported everything. Um, yes. 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 Um, I worked hard through that year. Um, I don't and really don't know how to put it in in in, in words, but um, it really changed my life and um, uh, start crying. It's okay. <laughs> um, because I never really found um, <laughs> the focus that I needed to succeed. And, and I, just because everything was so inspiring, Ellie's journey, Dimitra's, my coach was Daphne, which I'm just so amazed by. She was just fantastic and um, she just said before that she had the feeling we knew each other before, and I have to say, for some reason, I had that feeling too, and when I just saw her, I thought, well, she's maybe my daughter. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, so all in all, um, I had a, a fantastic time. I even managed to work on my own website, which nearly killed me, <laughs> but I did. Um, with all the support that was um, um, in, covered in this year, <sighs> what else? I don't know. I'm just really, I'm just really, like, so thankful for all of this. I have to mention one thing, which is, which might just turn me um, into tears. But um, so my grandfather um, on my mom's side has been the artist in our family. And um, when he passed away, it was, in, and I spent a lot of time with him when I was little, um, with oil paints, which I never touched after that because I just forgot how to use them. <laughs> Anyways, when he passed away, um, I was the last one walking into the room and they told, told me already before that I was just like a minute too late. Mm -hmm.
sorry, I had to. I have to just tell the story um, because it's part of my reason too. And um, so I walked in and um, it, it, with with the thought that he already passed. But when I walked in, um, he uh, moved his eyes and grabbed my hand. Wow! And he grabbed it so hard and strong that. Last year, when I signed up, I just, <laughs> I just really got this feeling, this is what I have to be doing, uh, and this is where I'm succeeding, and here I am, and yeah. proud of everything. <laughs> Sorry, I had to talk so much. <laughs> no, it's wonderful. Thank you. We may have been so quick. I'm sorry we don't have it. I have mine at home. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. okay. That was so touching. Okay, I think we have one more person. Uh, yeah, so go to the... Okay, Rita, I'm gonna make you come up here. <laughs> you're, like, um, you're like Kate, you're like Kate at the graduation you saw. We finally made it. Yeah. Wow. So this is Rita, and this is her beautiful, beautiful art. And Rita is actually one of our uh, shining, amazing mentors. Uh, she's fantastic at it. She's a super successful artist. Her artwork is amazing. Uh, she finished and and uh, graduated the program two years ago. two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. But I told you this is our first online graduation. So uh, even though she jumped into her career, she's been succeeding. She's been succeeding so well. She's mentoring for us, and we're so lucky to have her. Um, but I didn't want her to lose out on the opportunity to actually graduate and, and for us to celebrate her success. So uh, you finally have your certificate. <laughs> you got to frame it. Yeah. <laughs> and so we'll go ahead and share anything you want. Oh my God! I'm <laughs> yay! Finally, <laughs> I'm actually like right now I'm sitting with you gotta uh, eat it. one of my friends, and she's also a coach, Ceci. Visited um, Milan Art Institute when they were still in Arizona, and we visited. And well, I thought I graduated, <laughs> so it was nice. But I've been sitting and talking with her, and I just got a, just an amazing breakthrough. By the end, well, in the middle of our conference, um, we had a coach retreat before, and it was the first time I met probably all of the coaches. And we talked, and we um, connected a lot, <clears throat> and I heard a lot of like ideas, and you know how you, when you talk to people, you kind of like find answers for yourself, and sometimes you, yourself giving this answers. So I just realized the whole thing about my art and what I've been doing for so long. And um, this piece actually is kind of like a symbol for it. I was talking to other coaches yesterday and I realized how important it is to be in the circumstances and to be surrounded by people where you thrive. This is the most important. Um, you know, there were moments in life when I had everything, but I wasn't happy, or I thought I was happy, but something was still missing. And I think that's why we see so many tears, and my voice is shaking, and I like it. But it means like this is like a a big truth for myself. So all of the pieces that I've been creating and especially this one which was a big, big uh, breakthrough I realized that it's all about thriving and blooming and being your best self and I only found it at Northern Institute so thank you thank you Rita <laughs> Okay, so um, this is our first uh, online um, person to celebrate. So we have Florencia Mena, and um, this is her beautiful painting here. 
um, of this woman with all these beautiful colors and expression and brushstrokes. She says, the more true ourselves we are, without listening to our judgment, the more free we will be. Art is my form to express and conquer freedom. Uh, so, uh, so congratulations, Florencia, and um, we just celebrate you tonight, and we wish you the very best and the most success in your career. And um, you know, if you notice under each person, their their website is there. So uh, if you want to check them out more, you know, you can you can look at their website. So congratulations. So congratulations to Corey Acorn. And she says, my abstract impressionistic style of painting is both earthly, earthy and bold. Through my art, I bring attention to the wonder and joy in the usual and unusual natural world with a range of subjects over air, land, and sea. So definitely check out her website. And big congratulations to you. I know you work so hard. I really hope I don't mess up your name, but I have a feeling I might. Um, Niyati Giwanmi. Congratulations. Uh, she says, my art style speaks abstract realism, open-ended and surreal, with showing some drama. It's a journey for me, and I want to fly on uh, it freely and with positivity. So you can definitely see that from your artwork. Uh, your colors are beautiful. We wish you just tremendous success in the future as you, uh, you know, uh, work your business and continue to paint. And we just celebrate you tonight. Congratulations. So this is Christina Rago. And we actually went to Greece with her. Um, well, she joined us in Greece. And it was just so great spending time with her. and. I hope she's watching right now. <laughs> um, so Christina Rago is a Filipino-American abstract realist painter who works with acrylic inks and high flow paints from, from an intuitive and mindful place. Working out of her home studio base in London, she gains deep spiritual inspiration through daily meditation and loves writing poetry while her paintings come to life. And your art is gorgeous, it's beautiful. And I love you know all those brush strokes and Really great job. Congratulations, Christina. Definitely check out her website. Okay. Jessica Bolt. Uh, I've had many messages back and forth with Jessica Bolt. I feel like I know you, Jessica. Um, and uh, I know Dahlia was your coach. And you know, I, I work with all the coaches and mentors. Sumitra and I both do. And I know. Um, how you struggled at times through the program and really finding your process and how you wanted to paint. And I just, I congratulate you, I commend you for pushing through and persevering. I know you had many. finish the program, you've had breakthroughs, you've had success uh, showing your work and, um, and being in all kinds of shows, you know, more shows coming up. So congratulations, um, I'm just so proud of you. Uh, it says, Jess has embraced herself as an artist late in life and is enjoying the adventure of creating. She is a mixed media artist that is diving into the world of murals and has fun with creating wearable art. Um, we're so proud of you. So Dolly Maji, I think I think I said your last name right. I don't know. Dolly, you were such an amazing um, encourager in your class. Everybody knew who you were. Everybody adored you. Um, you are an incredible person. You have such a big heart. 
I enjoyed all your posts and all, all, all of our interactions. Um, I know your classmates and um, your, your coaches did too. Uh, congratulations, we're super proud of you. Um, I know it wasn't easy. You had a lot of difficulty uh, you know, with, with um, lockdown and all the things that happened in your country. Uh, and it wasn't easy for you and you pushed through and you pushed through with really great attitude. So congratulations, we're really proud of you. I says here, I'm a professional artist from India. Through my art, I hope to inspire people to see beauty and harmony in nature and to celebrate life. So congratulations. So this is Madison Watson and your art is so beautiful. So I am Mad Watson. Um, an abstract realism expressionist from Las Vegas. Through my art, I dive into themes of dreams, the magic of glittering nature, and the divine beauty within. Congratulations, Madison. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, Sane Outbunte. I probably said that really wrong. Um, uh, so uh, I got to meet you a few times on Zoom call, and uh, you know you're you're an amazing artist, and um, you know I'm just really proud of you. Congratulations, and um, I'm so excited to see everything that you're going to create, and you know all of your future work. And I I'm convinced that our uh, mastery students are going to like completely occupy the Netherlands. Uh, there is such a tremendous movement. I, I predict a movement. Uh, Dimitra and I were scheduled to do a um, workshop there because there's so many artists in the Netherlands that um, have gone through a program and I, I just, there must be something brewing. There must be something incredible brewing that you are a part of, uh, Sane. And so I'm, I'm super excited to see, and I know I'm going to meet you in person. I know. Inspired by life and feel art is a love letter to life. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. So uh, congratulations, and uh, we wish you the very best. <laughs> OK. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry if I do say your name wrong. So Pia Vell, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so your artist's name is Pia Vell. And um, definitely you guys want to check out her art. And I was looking at your website earlier. It's gorgeous. You have lots of beautiful paintings. So congratulations, Pia. Um, I am a fable artist. I paint the world just as colorful and magical as a child would see it. I encourage people to live a happy life and follow their dreams. That's so positive and inspirational. Congratulations. Wow, look at this piece. Isn't that beautiful? So Julie Selina Lindbjerk. Uh, I portray people from all over the world in my oil paintings with the purpose of reminding us of our unique strengths and beauty. I'm here to see, hear, and appreciate people for who they are through my art. My painting style can be described as figurative, impressionistic, and a mix of both people, nature, and abstract elements. Your art is beautiful and very moving. I, I immediately felt moved by it. So I love your heart. I love how you want to celebrate people from all over the world. And um, I know that you're going to be super successful. So congratulations. Uh, you did an amazing job. And we wish you the very best success. Uh, Haley Bopa, <laughs> so I remember you messaged me the other day saying that you wanted to make sure you got in the show and you were worried you were too late, but you made it. <laughs> so um, it's been really cool to see your art evolve and especially in art club, I notice every month you're participating and you definitely pour your heart in your paintings. So she says, in my art I seek to create a feeling of deep connection and harmony between human, animals, and nature. And you have really beautiful Okay, I believe 
Um, pretty sure because she really stuck out to me because she lives in Egypt and um, and you know it, it's you know I know that uh, Sarah you you had to overcome a lot and you had to really push through some things and so um, I'm so proud of you for that for your determination for your perseverance and um, to, to really do it so congratulations we're proud of you uh, she says I'm an Egyptian full-time artist I'm an abstract realist painter uh, my paintings are uh, a journey that takes you on an adventure of self-discovery. My technique is fast-paced with intuitive marks that flow freely on the canvas. I believe in self-growth and uniqueness. So uh, your painting is beautiful, and um, you know we're just we're just so proud of you. So uh, I hope that you forever change your country. I hope that you know shift is never the same after they your paintings and we wish you the very best and that your paintings will not only go all over Egypt but all over the world. You know, And beautiful at the same time. So I remember doing Zoom calls with you and um, I'm very proud with just the direction you're going with your art and uh, just how many people you're affecting with it and your art's very beautiful. It is very graduating and <laughs> very excited for you. site years ago, so I, I don't know what happened. Um, uh, Maybe she's watching. I want you to think, no, no, she didn't graduate, no. <laughs> um, uh, I just wanted to say real quick before uh, Shakaya, um, I wanted to say uh, just about India, uh, in case there's any, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's there's people from India watching. I'm, hope, I'm hoping the graduates from India are watching. Um, you know, we have a lot of artists from India who, who take the mastery program. And I know it's not, you know, necessarily the easiest conditions sometimes or, or circumstances. And they really do have to um, persevere, even in just finding the materials. There's always a, you know, really, really to help them, you know, find the materials because everything's really different over there. About uh, India, because I've, I've really got you know, uh, one of our coaches, um, uh, Ritika, and and her heart, and and I see her passion, and I see uh, what she is, and there's something happening in India. And there's, they're, they're going to be a big part of the coming. And there's even a women's movement in, in India where women are able to truly step into their cause and into their destiny and into their power and, and express themselves and be seen in truth. And so any woman watching artist from India, I want you to know you have a big future. And don't, don't listen to the words or the lies that say you can't do it. You can do it. And so <laughs> okay Shakaya congratulations you have been such a light in this program you are so many people uh, you are a true leader um, you are I don't know, you're just a beautiful soul, a truly beautiful soul. You've personally encouraged me, I can't tell you how many times. You've written me personal letters, you've, you've messaged me, you've told me how much you've appreciated me, and it's, it's meant a lot to me. And um, I can always count on you uh, for being positive and supportive. Um, you've been such a support to our school. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know you see your you know, posting and things, and, and, um, and I know you've had a lot of success mm -hmm and you're, you have such a bright future ahead of you. And what I love most about your work is, is your color. Your colors are just sublime. They're just 
absolutely beautiful and, and they're transformational. I think anybody that would see your art in person would just feel something even by the frequency of the color. So um, just keep up the great work and just stay being that true light that you are. Um, she says that a woman's life into an says dreams don't come true because So congratulations, Antoinette, for graduating and working so hard this year on just pouring your heart out into your paintings. Um, she says, I paint stories to heart with courage, hope, and a sense of imminent victory. I want you to know you can be courageous even in the face of fear and that hard circumstances do pass. My brand is known for the way it evokes strong emotions through color, imagery, and words. The kingdom of God is a strong undercurrent in all my paintings. That is a very good artist statement, so really good job. And your art is beautiful. I was also looking at your website earlier, and I encourage all you guys to, um, here, look at her website. Woo! Okay, Fandana uh, Meta. Um, Congratulations to you. Um, you did an outstanding job. We're super proud of you. Um, beautiful painting. It's a beautiful emotion on her face. Um, and uh, she says, I paint a world where dreams can become reality and even surpass it. I hope for my paintings to bring joy, healing, and light in your life. Self-love, self-discovery, and limitless nature of our lives is the driving force behind my work. My art is all about the metamorphosis and beautiful transformation one can achieve by bracing uh, own self. So um, that is a beautiful statement. It's a beautiful sentiment. You have a beautiful heart. Uh, we wish you the, the most success in your life and to keep painting uh, your beauty and your heart on the canvas. Congratulations. <laughs> So Michael Weaver, your art is really, really cool. Um, really you did nice. a really good job this year. So congratulations, Michael. Mike describes his style as modern impressionism. Although he has been influenced by the Bucks County, Pennsylvania impressionists, his style has also been greatly affected by modern representational painters. Mike's art is a blending of self-expression Excited for just as an artist. Yeah, your art is so uh, cohesive, and your your landscapes are just so well done. And you know everything you do is with excellence. So you wish we wish you um, great success. Okay, Elham Najafian. Uh, congratulations to you. Um, you did an outstanding job. Uh, your colors are really, really powerful. You have a tremendous boldness in your work. And um, we just really celebrate you tonight. We congratulate you. Um, great job. And we wish you... Uh, we're so proud of you. Congratulations for graduating the Mastery Program. Okay, so um, this concludes the uh, you know online Mastery Program graduation.
and we're so proud of all our graduates, um, all the ones that came here in person, and we got to meet, we got to hug you, we got to you know really see your heart. Uh, we're so glad that you came. Uh, congratulations to you, and for all the people online, and everyone who watched this, your family who supported you, uh, we thank you, we thank you for supporting them and cheering them on through this process. Um, and again, we just wish you tremendous success and uh, for your lives, your business to be blessed, uh, for your art to reach the four corners of the earth, uh, for your name to be known on earth as well as in heaven. And um, we know your art is gonna change this world and we're just so proud of you. Um, and you know, I just wanted to say that art is very powerful and it does change this world. That's not just, you know, something, you know, we, we just say, you know, without conviction. We know that it changes this world. We've seen it in history. We've seen it, uh, you know, in our own lives. And if you can change, you know, one heart and you can, you can shift something in one person's heart, it has this contagious effect and it can change that family and it can change that neighborhood and that, that, that you know, province, that, that nation. And uh, we've seen it so many times where somebody will paint something. And uh, I was just talking uh, with the graduation, um, the facility, the owner, he's from Columbia. And he was telling me, if you, if you want, you can look it up. Art changed the entire nation of Colombia. And if you're watching and you're from Colombia, you're familiar with it, you know this. Um, what they did is Colombia used to be one of the most dangerous uh, countries on the planet. And what happened is, the, is all these artists began painting murals all over every building. Every building became covered in murals and art. And they just drenched the city with color and with, with their vision. And what happened is the police and the, and the government would, would paint over the buildings. And then they would come back, the artists would come back, and they would put their murals up again. And they would get painted over again. And the artists would come and they would persevere and they would paint their murals again. And it happened again and again and again. And finally, the government gave up. And, and the, the drug cartels, you know, they began to weaken in the country. And the corruption began to weaken. And art prevailed. And, and really, heaven prevailed. And the nation has flip the nation has changed it's a very different nation today it's it's very progressive if you go into those cities they are extremely techy and they're very progressive they have some of the best food and culinary um, you know creativity in in you know Latin America they there it's it's an incredible country and uh, it's it's art that that changed that nation the power of art and really street art so art is profound and it does change the world. And um, so if you're feeling that stir in you, if you're watching this, if you see this, and, you, and you're right here celebrating with these graduates and, and anticipating their success that's coming, and, and that, that, that creative bone in you is beginning to rattle and stir and ignite and, and warm and you can feel that fire. You know, maybe you're supposed to be an artist. Maybe this is something that you're supposed to do. And that's why we've developed the mastery program. And we've developed it for people that have never painted before or people with a ton of skill. It doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is passion. And if you come into this with a passion and a desire to be an artist, you can, and you can change the world with your art. And, and this program will teach you skills. It'll teach you how to oil paint, how to draw, how to uh, you know, create and mix media. It'll teach you how to find your voice and develop your own personal style. It'll teach you how to build a personal brand. Why? So that you can influence. You can be an influencer. Artists are leaders. So you have to build your personal brand so that you can uh, you know, in influence your, your, your culture. And, and then we teach you uh, how to market yourself and how to promote and get your artwork out there so that you can do this for a living. And you can spend you know, the rest of your life, if you choose, being a professional artist. So uh, registration is open now. Uh, we invite you to, to register and step into your destiny and be an artist that changed the world with your art. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>